From Tradio Media, I'm Father Roderick, and this is The Daily Breakfast. In this final week before Christmas, I'm wearing my Harry Potter scarf and I'm taking you to the magical world of the Archeon Midwinter Fair. I'm here at the entrance to the archeological park, Archeon, in Alphen in the Netherlands. And I'm gonna show you around on the first day of this Midwinter Fest, or this Midwinter Fair. And there is a lot to see. Like for instance, here is a guy who is painting selfies <laughs> on a mirror. <laughs> and so he makes selfies and he's basically painting a mirror. So you can just look into that painting and see yourself. Look in the mirror. Oui, oui, très, très bien, very good. And so you may be surprised by the, uh, the looks of this park. And for those of you that are listening to the audio, I am uh, walking basically in what looks like a, a medieval village. Um, and in this park, which is actually in a quite modern part of the Netherlands, uh, they have created this park that wants to show how people lived in, uh, in the Middle Ages, in the early, early days here. And it's a cold winter day. So everywhere there are fires burning where you can uh, warm yourself, which is very, very nice. And it also um, gives you this, this nice smell of, um, of winter, basically. And so here on my left, for instance, is another small hut, uh, which is from a recreation of a, a homestead of the 11th century. And this is all based on old... Uh, historical evidence that we have. This, this park was not created for this event, obviously. This is a, an educational park. But of course, it is the perfect setting for an event like this. And um, the people that walk around here are dressed also in all sorts of uh, uh, different outfits. Uh, you can walk inside and take a look inside. I will show you much more of the park later on, but I'm just going to give you a general tour right now. So this is a midwinter fair. Uh, these fairs and festivals are increasingly popular in uh, not just in the Netherlands, but uh, a little bit all over the world. And uh, I think it, it uh, actually appeals to us so much because the real world in which we live is sometimes so complicated um, and, and downright threatening. And we long for a simpler time and simple, a simpler life in a certain way. At least that's, that's why it appeals to me so much. Now here on my, uh, on my right is a, a nice lake and, uh, and, and back there you can see on the other side of the lake all these old medieval houses. This looks like the set from uh, a series like uh, the Game of Thrones for instance and it's absolutely gorgeous and of course on a day like this it's enhanced tremendously by all these uh, wonderful costumes of people. Uh, oftentimes made uh, by themselves. Look at this guy. Just unbelievable. Very, very menacing, but awesome looking. <laughs> and uh, here's a lady also standing in the uh, entrance to uh, another uh, small stable, I think. This is also a medieval stable. There's a little boat. Um, let me just walk there and take a look. So there's, a, there's an old boat which I don't think is very seaworthy anymore. <laughs> I wouldn't dare it. And here on the left is uh, a recreation of a Viking uh, stable, or at least that's what it looks like. This is from uh, uh, the year 400. And so uh, there is a small fireplace here and you can play some old fashioned games uh, underneath this roof and hopefully we won't need this roof, although they have predicted some pretty nasty winter weather. Actually, there's even snow on the ground right now because it's been snowing this night. It's not freezing temperature right now, but we may get some extra snow later today, which of course would enhance the overall atmosphere. Look at here inside this, uh, this, this small house, another wood fire, little candles, pottery. It is absolutely wonderful. Good morning. 
And of course, are you the boss of the house? Yes. <laughs> yes? The lady of the manor. The lady of the manor. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look as if you're not getting cold today. <laughs> oh, well, it's about four degrees. It's four degrees, yes. Centigrade inside. I was trying to start a fire, but the wood is all wet. Uh-huh. So it will take a while for it, for it to while. start. Do you expect a lot of visitors today? Yes. 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 It's going to be real fun. I think so. I think so. It already looks very much fun. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank you. The lady of the house right here on the daily breakfast. And uh, look at that. This guy is uh, coming, uh, is crossing the, the lake on a plateau. It's not really a boat. He's using a, a, a rope to pull himself from the left side of the uh, of the water here to this uh, this part. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> very, very awesome. There are a lot of kind of Game of Thrones type of outfits today. I look a little bit out of place and actually I haven't really shown you <laughs> my own costume, which is nothing special. But um, today I'm, uh, I'm kind of in a Harry Potter mood. So I've got my, <laughs> my Gryffindor uh, uh, what is it? How do you call this? Is it a shawl or no? It's um, um, well, anyway, you see what it is <laughs> to protect me against the cold. <laughs> the cold. Um, it's still early in the morning, so I haven't had much coffee yet. All right, let's see if I can turn this camera around. If it finally wants to obey me, it is a little bit. Uh, it's a bit tricky to do that. Uh, there you go, and so. I'll show you a bit more. This is actually pretty massive as a park. Um, there's also a covered area that I'll show you as well. Again, this, uh, this is all from the buildings from the 4th until the 9th century or 10th century uh, after Christ here. And of course, back then, uh, there were a lot of people also living in the Netherlands. So um, you will find mostly architecture that it has actually existed here in the Netherlands. Now, we're, we're moving to a different part of the park right now. Um, this is an even older, a recreation of an e even older era. This is a recreation of a Roman type of uh, architecture. And so there is a defense um, wall here, a wooden two towers from which uh, the uh, army could look at uh, potential enemies. And if you walk through this entrance gate, <laughs> good morning. morning. You'll see a lot of people are well dressed for winter. And this here on my left is, I think, a recreation of a Roman bathhouse. So they would basically have these uh, swimming pools and, and hot tubs and whatnot. And uh, we know that in several places in the Netherlands they had armies and also small villages or even cities, towns, and uh, they would have these, these gathering places because it was, of course, much more than a uh, Roman swimming pool. But um, they would gather here to, to talk, to uh, socialize. And uh, as you can tell, it is absolutely wonderfully done. <laughs> and the cool thing of a day like this is that it's a it's a mishmash of things because of course we're here in the Roman times, but then sitting on this rock is a genuine pirate. It looks very convincing. <laughs> and here on the left is another Roman building. But then there's also uh, a knight. It looks definitely more medieval, and even a dwarf walking around. <laughs> Good morning. I am actually quite surprised by the weather. The sun is shining. They, they had predicted such nasty weather, but it's not as bad at all as everyone uh, feared it would be. Look at that. There are two more people with masks and in feathers. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> They've got like bird bird masks and uh, uh, really interesting and a lot of these people are in character. This looks more like uh, something out of Roman times and I hear some crying so, or some yelling 
and I see a giant, what looks like a Father Christmas figure or something like that, or a winter figure on stilts. And he's towering above us right now. <laughs> Check it out. And there's a knight also. Hi. Here is a creature that looks a bit like a, a swamp creature. And there is a giant. I need to take a look at that. It's amazing. A rock guy or like a walking rock giant. It looks absolutely stunning. Check it out. Amazing. <laughs> Completely formed out of, of black rock, looking very menacing. And walking around here in the park to make sure everyone behaves. Absolutely fantastic. Of course, as you can imagine, this is a wonderful place to go with your family because there is so much to see and kids love to dress up as do adults on a day like this. And there is a, a child playing and uh, here's a young knight. <laughs> and there we go. We're going to take a closer look at this uh, green giant. Not sure who he is or what he represents, but it is uh, very impressive. On long stilts. <laughs> and there is a, a knight with a... Uh, a little fellow and he can he even speaks English that's that's quite amazing <laughs> great all right let's move on and what do we have here this looks also old it's a, some kind of a stable I think oh this is this is also uh, uh, the remains of a or the remains probably a recreation of a Roman ship that they found. Um, just reading some information here. It's a reconstruction. It's 25 years old. And so this is probably based on remains that they found in the Netherlands because the Romans had their settlements here. And so, of course, to navigate the waters, the Netherlands in those days was covered in water. A lot of it was swamp and lakes. And so they needed these big boats to transport their troops over the various rivers. And it's very cool to see that they have this uh, uh, this boat to give us an idea of what it, what it looked like on the, the craftsmanship of the Romans in those days. All right, we're moving to another, uh, looks like a, another Roman house here, uh, which is a bit like a market. I see all sorts of um, metal things. Oh, this is more um, probably something of uh, steampunky. Uh, the steampunk genre. I see a lot of intricate devices here that you can use and all sorts of uh, interesting concoctions and potions and uh, skeletons of weird creatures like this bat. I don't think these are real skeletons but they look really awesome and there's something that looks like a gold paster. This may be a booklet with uh, some ancient recipes and uh, I want to take a look here on the right is a small, it's a creature cabinet of curiosities. And this is wonderfully made. It's uh, definitely a labor of love. They're tiny little miniature versions of all the things that we saw in the other uh, place. So you've got tiny little bottles. Um, there is a, like a miniature mummy, I think, and uh, strange like babies with, uh, with wings. It's a, it's a little bit creepy, a little bit scary, but uh, it's just something that leaves a lot to the imagination. I guess that normally there would be someone in here telling stories or perhaps, I don't know, crafting things. There is a tent here on the left definitely also looks Roman. It actually reminds me of some of uh, the uh, tents that you see in the in the world of Middle Earth. And this is also a lot of people just changing. Oh, this is definitely yeah, steampunk objective. So people are getting ready for all the visitors that will visit this part of the 
of the of the fair and two more very steampunky looking people good morning <laughs> how are you doing what what is steampunk can you explain that to me Time. Victorian times, and yes. And then they travel full time and then they are... Uh, oh, so they're basically time travelers yes. from the Victorian era yes. that now live in uh, modern day, yes. the they're, modern they're world. Still traveling. They're still traveling. Yes, but they still have all their old Victorian looking yes. gears. Do you make all that yourself, the costumes and everything? Yes. The, the most uh, we make self, uh, we look in an uh, old and yeah, then and then you, you, you create your own, yes. it looks gorgeous, absolutely fantastic. I love it, thank you so much, have a great day. <laughs> and it's starting to rain, I guess it's something we're going to get a lot today. Here are some more steampunk people, they definitely love their hats, that's for sure. Amazing. So you're two, two guys with the big, big hats and large coats, and they have a whole bunch of uh, steampunky things here, like a miniature chess game. That looks interesting. And a microscope. <laughs> Wonderful. I need to find some shelter because uh, the rain is intensifying, but I first want to show you this weird looking, it's a bike, definitely based on a bike, <laughs> but it also has a, place where a passenger can sit and then probably the uh, steampunk driver can show you around and drive you around. So that's steampunk in the middle of this, uh, this is a, uh, definitely a Roman place because here you have a statuette of Jupiter sitting on top of a green column. And this is in the Gallo-Roman style and um, Jupiter is actually keeping watch over this Roman area of the park and it, it, he's a very small bear you can barely see him now here's another this is basically the exit I think and uh, a lot of people have taken out their uh, umbrellas to to uh, stay dry and I think there is a, one more Roman building that I want to check out here you can pose <laughs> as a Roman soldier and uh, there's basically a cut out figure, a photo of a Roman soldier. The head is gone so you can put your head in there. Can I, can I try that out? I actually, this would be a nice selfie, <laughs> selfie trial. Let's see if I can turn the camera around in selfie mode. Yes, there's a little staircase here and now I can look through this. <laughs> and pose as a Roman soldier. Interesting. All right. <laughs> and the rain is getting worse and I'm definitely gonna take shelter here. There are some, uh, some stones. I'm not sure if these are real, but they definitely look like Roman artifacts here. They are creating masks Roman mask with the clay and here is a whole bunch of raw material that you can use to not only make masks but also to make your oil lamps because of course you need light in the dark winter times that's just wonderful uh, you can tell it's still pretty early in the morning so um, the park is only slowly filling up with more people here's another nice warm I hope it will keep burning despite the rain. Oh, we're just putting in some, putting on some more some more wood. <laughs> Here's some people waving at you. <laughs> All right, let's go inside and see what we can find here. This is oh, it's nice and warm here. You've got a lot of pottery, tons of pottery and an old shelf, and here is a pottery. Uh, this is one of those turning these wheels where you can make vases and stuff. A candle lights up the room. It's very dark because, of course, in ancient times, they only had candles and oil lamps to uh, light the different rooms. And here is a small 
a Roman altar, it looks, with a candle in front of a number of uh, clay statuettes of, uh, who knows, gods or ancestors, and there's a little offering here in front of the candle. It looks like uh, some, some herbs or something like that. There is a small, it's almost, it's hard to see because it's so dark in here. There seems to be a, a, a bit of charcoal where they could uh, burn incense. And here is a picture of definitely some Roman lady. <laughs> Perhaps it's a family member. Here's a very young visitor. <laughs> very curious to see what's, what's going on. <laughs> All righty. Let's see if it's still raining outside. Yeah, it definitely is still very, very wet, but we have the fire here to keep us warm. So that concludes my first tour here of uh, the Archeon Midwinter Fair. Now, I've only sho shown you a tiny, tiny little part of the, of the entire place. There is so much more to see. And uh, for that, I invite you to come back because there will be a number of episodes from this midwinter fair. Kind of seems like the perfect time of the year to show you around in this uh, kind of almost magical historical place. Um, thanks for watching. Check out uh, tridio.com for more episodes and more shows. And if you want to subscribe, tridio.com slash subscribe. Thanks to my supporters over at patreon.com slash Father Roderick. I am Father Roderick in Harry Potter outfit here at Archeon Midwinter Fair. And I will see you soon. Take care and God bless.